Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope everyone is prepping for different types of disasters that are coming and ongoing. Apocalyptic size hail fell in different portions of China. Um, evidently also tornadoes in Zanluten and Gunjong, which I have map marked here on the map. There's been different reports in a video showing the hail. It was as big as basketballs. And there was another report. I don't know if I can find it. Of the hail. Um, I believe that was Gungzai. Um, if you look at the video. Um, the guy's probably three stories up. And showing the hail. Impacting the furniture and the flooring. Um, yeah, making it into splinters. That's definitely um, Armageddon, uh, prophetic type hail. China lately has been severely hit with multiple storms. Several weeks ago, there was typhoon type of winds that actually sucked people out of their apartments or threw them off of their balconies. Videos of the hail also there in Guangzhou, China. Um, I assume it's aluminum roofs, but it's actually punching holes through the roof of different buildings. And I'm going to play those videos for you. A tornado sent debris swirling into the air in southern China's Guangzhou city during a severe rain and hail storm. There was reports on Twitter saying five people were killed and at least 32 were injured. The China Meteorological Administration said the tornado hit about 3 p.m. local time in a sprawling metropolitan and manufacturing center near Hong Kong. Videos posted online showed a darkened sky in the mid-afternoon and debris swirling upward. Yeah, you can see all the roofing material and other things. <laughs> Here in the United States, hundreds of homes in Nebraska were destroyed after uh, a tornado went through there. There's a video of this. Um, they're expecting more storms to this afternoon to impact the area. Look at the devastation. I don't know if anyone was killed or how many injuries there were, but definitely se um, sending prayers. This is the time of year where we get a lot of devastating uh, weather throughout the uh, Midwest and Central U.S. Yeah, it's just horrible. These storms seem to be increasing more and more and more. Yeah, yeah. I hope everyone is prepared. Um, they have different emergency plans um, where they can find shelter and recovery after um, these devastating, yeah, storms. Yeah, sending prayers for what's supposed to come this afternoon, too. Here's another image that was posted to Twitter. I have a video for you that i partly shared that was on Facebook. You can watch the tornado. As yeah, we got trees and everything else behind us, yeah. Yeah, I didn't the car Yeah, there's a The cicada invasion of two different broods is now starting to happen. The uh, sounds from these insects have been so loud, people are actually calling 911 and complaining about the noise. It is the first time since 1803 that brood 19 
or the Great Southern Brood, and Brood 13, or the Northern Illinois Brood, will appear together in a known event as Dual Emergence. Thomas Jefferson was president the last time that the North Illinois Brood 17-year cycle aligned with the Great Southern Brood 13-year period. After this spring, it'll be another 221 years before the groups, which are geographically adjacent, appear together again. The first wave of cicadas will emerge in northern Louisiana, southern Arkansas, Alabama, Mississippi, northern Georgia, and up into western South Carolina. Then, at the end of it, they're going to appear throughout central and northern Missouri and Illinois, uh, northwestern Indiana, southern Wisconsin, and eastern Iowa. Other apocalyptic news is that a rare leafhopper insect plague is occurring there in Argentina. It has uh, eliminated an estimated $1.3 billion of expected corn crop for this year. Argentina is the third world's largest corn producer, exporter, um, and it's expected to spread um, the amount of lost corn um, to knock out 6.5 million tons of um, produce corn. Other news that mainstream media isn't talking about, but the first U.S. bank failure this year is the Philadelphia-based Republic First Bank. Regulators have closed Republic First Bank, a regional lender operating in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New York. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation said Friday, um, yeah, this happened yesterday and they haven't talked about it, uh, that it sees the Philadelphia-based bank, which did business as Republic Bank, and had roughly $8 billion in assets and $4 billion in deposits as of January 31st. Republic Bank's 32 branches will reopen as branches of Fulton Bank um, as early as Saturday, probably not until Monday. They did say that First Republic Bank depositors can access their funds via checks, or ATM as of yesterday. The bank's failure is expected to cost the deposit insurance fund um, $667 million. Many of you might not know that Steve Mnuchin, uh, who was the U.S. Treasury Secretary during the Trump administration, agreed to pump more than $1 billion to rescue the New York Community Bancorp so that might be another one we might see fail. I don't know. Um, that bank was hammered by weakness in commercial real estate and growing pains. Um, what Are they investing too much, too fast? Evidently, New York Community Bancorp invested in uh, buyouts of other distressed banks last year. In my opinion, food is the best commodity to stock up on especially when we're going through stagnation right now. Many countries are going through this, Russia, China, and here in the U.S. The U.S. economy growth for the first quarter fell far short of what they forecasted. Inflation adjusted gross domestic product grew at um, a rate of only 1.6% in the first quarter. The last time it was this bad, bad was back in the 1970s. They had hoped that growth would have been at 2.2%, but it wasn't. It only rose by 1.6%. The slowdown largely reflected a pullback of growth in consumer spending. We don't have the money anymore, as well as exports fell. Recent reports showed that the U.S. economy activity at the start of the year showed slower growth than expected and worse inflation. They did not expect the GDP to drop this quickly. Cost of food and energy climbed to 3.7% in the first, first three months of this year. Personal savings, money that people have 
saved in the bank or maybe under the mattress was only 3.6 percent or as of the end of 2019 it was actually at 6.9 percent people saving or those that are saving has dropped more than by half most people can not afford to buy a home and rents keep going up my landlord informed me that uh, when my lease expires is going up by a whopping 23 percent nationally rents grew at 13.9 percent I, yeah, I think my my landlord's getting very greedy you know when you got a 23 percent increase in rent and things are only going to get worse around the world with weather and wars and inflation and unemployment so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye